Welcome back, you gorgeous weirdos. I'm so glad you're here. Look what I have. I'm super excited about this. First of all, happy, happy, happy anniversary to Melody Susie. In honor of their 14th anniversary, they sent over this brand spanking new gorgeous e-file gift box set. Wait till you see all the goodies that come in this. This e-file is stunning. It's at 35,000 RPM. It's got all the things and the stuff. It works beautifully. I'm going to show you how to prep with this here in just a minute. Let's take a satisfying peel off moment. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why that brings me so much joy. Anyways, thank you to Melody Susie again for sending this over and sponsoring today's video. Look at this. Okay, this comes in two colors, by the way. If you're not a pink person, they do have a different color. It's a bright, beautiful, vibrant orange, if that's what you're into. If you're looking for an e-file, this is an outstanding choice. You guys know how I feel about Melody Susie e-files, and I feel like every time they come out with a new one, it's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> this one has so much stuff it comes with though. If you're new to e-files and you don't know where to start, what to get, what you're going to need, this really does come with everything. Of course, it comes with your hand piece. It comes with the little thingamajig to store your hand piece on. It comes with the charger. It comes with, wait till you see. <laughs> this is the charger, by the way, just a regular plug-in. It's not a USB. It also comes with a couple of bits. This one is a ceramic bit. I would use that for maybe removal or contouring. Came with that carbide bit you saw earlier. This is a little clip that goes on the thing and you can put your handpiece right on that if you want. But look at all these extra goodies. Oh my gosh. The value of this gift box is incredible. These bits are seriously the most beautiful bits I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to show you how to use them for prep here in just a minute. It also came with a bunch of other bits. These are I would use not on natural nails. I would use them more for contouring or for removal. This is a clean out brush. You can clean your bits off with this brush. It's got that steel to really get in there and get all that gunk out. It's got a quadruple sided, I think, maybe more. <laughs> a file, a dusty brush, this uh, gorgeous rose gold bit. Mm, this is so beautiful. I don't know if I would use it because I don't do really thick overlays, but if you do extensions, that would probably be great for you. Look at this. This is a bit organizer. You can keep all of your bits in this little case. It's so freaking cute. I love it. I love the rose gold theme too. This is really so beautifully done. Also comes with a little manicure kit and 180 grit sanding bands. These are considered fine grit sanding bands, which is perfect, especially if you're working on prep on your natural nails. This is so inclusive with all the products they sent over. So let's get into it a little bit. And I'm going to show you how I do my natural nail prep with these bits and this e-file. So I'm going to grab one of these bits. They're all diamond bits. So they're all pretty much safe for your natural nails. Of course, whenever you're touching your natural nail with anything, whether it's an e-file or hand file, you want to make sure you're being super gentle. I have this on a super low speed. I'm at 6,000 RPM and I'm just going to take this in and around my cuticle area to loosen up and get rid of any of that dead cuticle that might be on the nail plate. This will help prevent your dip powder or your builder gel or whatever you're doing over your nails. It's going to help prevent against lifting because that skin will cause lifting. So I'm going to get all of that off all of the nails. I'm going to dehydrate them and then we're going to be ready for application.
so I know that it's not quite October yet, and these aren't technically Halloween, but I typically do something in October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month every single year, and this is going to be my BCA manicure for October. I figured I'd get it up early, that way if you guys see it and you want to do it for some time in October, at least I'm ahead of the game. So I'm starting off with Whipped Cream Glow Kini. This is the glow version of Whipped Cream Bikini. It's a beautiful milky white. As you can see, it applies so smoothly. There is zero chalkiness, zero patchiness. I don't know what kind of sorcery she's using because white is typically very hard to make, especially in a glow in the dark, but this is so beautifully formulated. If you like a little bit of glow and you love a good white nail, a white accent nail, this is great for underneath nail art, stamping, decals, anything you want to do on top of it. This is going to be for you with Cream Glow Kini. It's amazing. So I'm going to get this on all of the nails. I'm going to do two full coats and then I'm going to cap and clear. This application is really super duper simple. I'm not doing anything crazy. No color blocks, no ombres, no nothing. Just a basic white nail. And then we're going to do our little breast cancer awareness accent of pink a little bit later. You probably already saw it in the thumbnail. It turned out so stinking cute. I was literally obsessed. And wait till you see it glow in the dark. I cannot. This was so perfect. I Sometimes I impress myself. <laughs> Am I inflating my own ego? Uh, yeah, a little bit. But just let me. Let me have my moment. <laughs> so this is my very basic dip powder application. I'm going to drill it into y'all's heads. I know I sound like a broken record, but liquid control really is everything when you're doing dip powder nails. You want to make sure you have the smallest amount of base on your brush and you start in the center of the nail. You don't want to go right into your cuticle area. You're going to flood it. You're going to make a mess. It's going to be hard to clean out and even harder to file later. So liquid control. Now, I've had a lot of people ask about how much exactly liquid to be putting on the brush and putting on the nail. I wish I could answer that for you because our nails are all so different. As you can see, I do have short natural nails, but I have a lot of nail bed. I have a lot of nail estate for someone with very short nails. I don't know why I was born this way. But this is going to super depend on your own nails and your own nail situation. If you have shorter nails than me, you might need less product. If you have longer nails, you're going to need more product. So you're going to have to play around with the ratios on your own nails and see what works best for you. I'm going to say start with a little and you can always add. Once you put too much product on your nail, you're going to scramble to get excess off. So start with a little bit, add if you need to but try not to flood your cuticle area. That's just going to make your life difficult. Also, if your liquid is too wet, if you have way too much liquid on your nail and you dip into the powder, you can cause buckling or wrinkling. You can cause a ledge at the front of your nail. So liquid control really is everything. If you are struggling with liquid control, I would highly recommend you pour over your dip powder until you get your ratios right. That'll help prevent a lot of the lumps and bumps that you might be finding from having too much wet liquid on the nail. Once I had that first coat done, I'm going to go ahead and dust off all the excess dip powder and I'm going to go right in for coat number two. I'm going to super duper speed this up because you've already seen it once. This is not a real time video, but if you want to watch a real time dip application video, I'll make sure to leave one up in the cards for you to check out. So I'm going to get in here with my second coat and then we're going to cap and clear.
So I've heard a lot of chatter about clear dip powder and whether you need to use it underneath your dip, over your dip, if you need to use it at all. And at the end of the day, it's really just personal preference. I like to use clear over top of the color. I find that it protects the color when you're filing and buffing because sometimes if you're heavy handed with a file, you can break into that pigment and make it uneven or patchy. So I like to do it on top. If you prefer to do it underneath your color, you super can. If you don't want to use it at all, you don't have to. But if you're looking for strength over your natural nail, pigmented powders are not quite as strong as clear acrylic. So I would highly recommend using clear at some point just to give your nails a little bit of extra strength to prevent against chipping, cracking, breaking, all of that stuff that you don't want to deal with. Clear dip powder can help prevent against all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my dip of clear in. I'm going to activate. I'll do my filing and buffing off camera because it's really quite minimal. I only needed to clean up my shape and give it a once over with a buffing block and then we're getting right into the cutest nail art. Let's get into this nail design. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a pink gel polish. You do not need to use gel polish. You can use acrylic paint. You can use regular nail polish, acrylic paint, markers, whatever your preference is. Y'all know if you've been here for a minute, I'm a gel polish person. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a liner brush. You don't even need a liner brush for this. You can use a dotting tool or a toothpick or a bobby pin, really whatever you have on hand. Brushes are just my preference. And what I'm gonna do is in the corner, of the free edge, I'm gonna make what looks like the top of a heart, just without the bottom. And I'm gonna fill that in pink. This is gonna be the base of our little pumpkin. We're gonna add some details and some line work to give it you know, a little bit of life. <laughs> so it doesn't look like um, the top of a pink heart at the end of the day. But that is all we're gonna do for the first step of this nail design. Make your top of your pink heart, fill it in, and then we're gonna cure it for a full 30 seconds. So once I had that cured, we can move on to the next step. The next step is gonna be black gel polish, and this is going to be the outline for our pumpkins. Again, you don't have to use gel polish. You can use whatever median you like. I'm gonna take that same brush. I did wipe it off a little bit with some rubbing alcohol just so I don't contaminate colors into the black. And now all I'm gonna do is outline that top of the heart slash pumpkin. That's all we're gonna do for step number two. For this step, I have the smallest amount of product on the brush and I'm using a very light hand with only the tip of the brush to keep that line super thin. Once I had that line on, I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 30 seconds.
Now let's turn these hearts into pumpkins. So with that same black gel polish and the same brush, what I'm gonna do is kind of continue that outline down the nail and then add an extra line right next to it. So we're doing a total of four lines, two curving out on one side and two curving out the other way on the other side. And that's gonna turn this heart into a pumpkin. Once you have the four lines down on the nail, here for another 30 seconds and then we're going to add a little stem. Okay, final step of the pumpkin, a little stem. Again, with the teeniest amount of product and the lightest hand, I'm gonna make a little curved stem at the top of the pumpkin, and then I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna be ready for top coat. So I did get up, wash my hands, make sure I have no gel residue on my nails, and this is what the finished manicure looks like. It is so stinking cute on its own, but there is an extra twist. Remember we used the whipped cream glow kini, which is a glow in the dark white. So here is what they look like in the dark. Can you even? I am obsessed with this set. I love how you can still kind of see the color and the tone and the detail in those pumpkins. Even in the dark, that is how bright this Glowkini is. It is sickening. I'm telling you, if you need a good glow in the dark in your life, this is for you. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.